to pay for all these products. I have this plug-in camera on my iPhone that detects heat. Extremely compact, lightweight, yet powerful. First thing I wanna see if it's actually less noisy. I'm going to try to measure. This is so interesting. Half the size of other hair dryers on the market and dries up to 30% fast. I'm gonna start the stopwatch and see how long it takes me. Hey, to welcome back. Today we're going to be testing out a new Italian hair dryer that claims to be the lightest professional hair hair dryer in the world, only 294 grams, which is insane. But not only that, it also promises to be less noisy and up to seven times more powerful. Ultra light, powerful and long lasting. And that's why they called it Perfetto. Look at that. Okay, it's very, very lightweight. I'm gonna have my Elheim 3900, which is also an Italian professional hair dryer so that I can compare. I use it over and over and over again, but clearly, yes, this is much heavier. So this is definitely more comfortable. Super important if you are a professional hairdresser. Honestly, for any of us, you wouldn't believe the amount of times that I've read in the comments, like I couldn't post possibly blow dry my hair like you, Heidi, because my arms would be sore. Look at my hand for reference. Picked it up in rose gold. I believe it comes in black, light, gray. Has a special tech to auto clean the three meter cord. Three different speeds and a cool setting. You also get a diffuser and two nozzles. First thing I wanna see if it's actually less noisy. Let's plug this in. Okay, you turn it on from the back. There's an on off and then lock. Let's hear you. It sounds like an airplane turbine. I'm going to try to measure the highest setting, how many decibels we have. Let's do this. So you just saw it, 89 decibels. Let's see how this one goes. This is so interesting. So the maximum was 90 decibels, which is not that big of a difference. However, for some reason, it does appear to be less noisy, a little bit less unpleasant. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start blow drying. I'm gonna grab this nozzle right here and insert it. And I'm gonna start the stopwatch and see how long it takes me to dry this piece of hair. And then we're gonna do the same with the other hair dryer. So um, let's do it. <sighs> Just a little bit over two minutes to fully dry this side. Let's see how the Alhim does on this side. Start. All right, so this one took 203. It's um, insignificant difference. So the good thing I'd say is that the Perfetto is actually um, as powerful as the Elkin 3900, which is definitely not an average hair dryer. It is the most powerful hair dryer I have personally tested out so far. The one thing I wanna say is that the Elkin side actually feels a little bit smoother. Maybe it's just because it's the first time trying this out. We'll see when I end up uh, blow drying the entire hair if I like the result. The weight difference and how ergonomic this is it does make a difference, not like a minor thing, especially if you have long hair. Next thing I wanna see is how much heat we're actually getting when using one hair dryer or the other. Apparently there's like a healthy range. So thanks to my brother, the scientist in the family, I have this plugging camera on my iPhone that detects heat. As you can see, it's currently detecting the temperature on my ring light right there. So I'm going to try to compare the highest temperature that we can detect on both sides with both hair dryers. Let's see what the highest temperature setting is. Now let's see what happens on the other side.
Good news is that both hair dryers are within the safe range. The Alkin 3900 actually gets your hair a little bit hotter and the IQ Perfect a little bit lower. So it doesn't seem to be something that's going to be a deal breaker in either case. But if I end up liking the results with the IQ Perfecto, I actually think the least heat we have, the better. So I'm going to finish blow drying the rest of my hair just with the IQ Perfecto because I've used the Elkin 3900 for years now. So I really want to see how this performs. Focus on that so that I can share with you my final conclusions. We still have like the top layer, which doesn't look like much, but it's actually quite a bit of hair. So I want to see how I feel just using this one on its own. You made this work. I made this worse. We fell apart a thousand times. Sometimes you moved away. I'm here to stay. I wish I could go back in time, back in time. I'm so sorry that I hurt you so deep. Swear I spent the last few years just trying to change. I'm on my knees and I'm begging you, please. Is there any chance you're thinking up on me? I really really like these results and it was super comfortable to use. I can absolutely tell the difference. The fact that such a tiny, compact and ultra lightweight hair dryer can deliver comparable results to my professional Elkin 3900, I mean, just makes it a winner. Just like that, the only one thing I think the Elkin 3900 uh, Healthy Ionic is uh, better than this one is in smoothing out my hair just a tiny bit more not a lot the results I love and they're like so comparable so close it's definitely a powerful tool may not be necessary to spend this much on a blow dryer for so many people thinner hair or maybe your hair is more manageable than mine and you don't really need that much power but in my case and considering everything that this is giving me and the fact that it's so like travel friendly i can absolutely see myself using this over and over again unless of course something better comes my way and i discovered it here on my channel if you enjoyed this video if you found it helpful please make sure to subscribe and also support this channel in any way shape or form because well just reviewing hair care products and tools is not cheap at all for me. I do pay for all these products out of my own money. I don't accept hair care sponsorships. So when you're watching an ad, when you're watching this video, and when you shop through my links, you're actually helping me out to buy new products to test out for you guys so that hopefully you don't have to unless you absolutely love it. <laughs> And that is it for now. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about this new product and I will catch up with you all once again on my next one.